What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Riggs Gaming. What we're going to be doing today is showing you guys some very impressive hog attacks. We're going to be highlighting some hog attacks at each of the town hall levels. Uh, these attacks will be coming from the CWL Week 8 matchup, FYSB versus Jayoff. FYSB taking a defeat, a one-star defeat, 114 to 115 was the final a much closer war than a lot of us were expecting as it got a little closer to the end we really thought uh, Jayhoff was going to just take off with this one but it ended up being uh 7 10v10 three stars for fysb 9 10v10 three stars for the guys and girls over in Jayoff. and as far as town hall 11 v 11 three stars <clears throat> We had one 11 v 11, this one right here. It wasn't a hog attack, but I will be featuring that at the very end of the video if you guys want to stay tuned for that. Uh, so we had one 11 v 11. Jayoff did not have one. Uh, so that's kind of where we get the numbers as far as them winning by one star. At the end of the day, it was a very, very fun war. Best of luck to uh, Jayoff in the rest of their season. We're going to go ahead and start off down here at number 39 with Phil. I'm going to be doing a Kill Squad Hog Attack. Like I said, I want to focus on Hog Attacks. We know that Lalo and Air Attacks have been getting a lot of love lately. Oh, we're down here. Uh, so we're going to be focusing a little bit more on ground, specifically Hog Attacks. So I'll show you guys two Town Hall 9 raids, two Town Hall uh, 10v10 3 stars. I will show you guys um, a Town Hall 11 hit and then our 11 v 11 three star. So, so again, this one coming from Phil, just starting with a classic funnel down here at six o'clock. It's a solid wall break uh, right there at six. You can see he funneled uh, his bowlers in. You can see the CCs come out, has a jump spell leading right there into the core, raging up these bowlers. Did have a couple of them walk. Uh, and even that queen, but since you already took out the CC, uh, the queen is actually going to end up getting decent value uh, as she makes her way to the right-hand side of the base. King is going to go ahead and aggro enemy queen as they go ahead and pop ability. There we go. And the golems, uh, even those golemites still doing a little bit of tanking. Um, and right here, you'll see he dropped down his hogs and you'll notice his queen is actually going to be staying up for the remainder of this raid. Uh, and again, he didn't bring max hogs in the CC. <clears throat> I will go ahead and show you guys one attack that does have max hogs coming out of the CC, but this one he went ahead and did a classic shattered hobo. And goes ahead, you can kind of guess where that last heal spell is gonna go right over the Tesla farm. Uh, this was a fresh hit, so not knowing where that farm was. Of course, it was by the enemy BK. Gonna go ahead and wipe that out right there. And as you guys see, uh, and again, even though Queen walked, he still was able to take out that damage CC, take out the enemy Queen, still got decent value from the bowlers, even though it did not go as planned. So good adjustment by Phil, and Queen ended up helping clean up the attack. Beautiful, beautiful raid uh, from Phil C. Nice adjustment um, uh, on that attack. So now I'll go ahead and jump up here, you guys, to number 33. So we saw the Kill Squad, uh, Kill Squad Hog attack. Now we're going to show you guys a Queen Charge Hog attack. This one, there is some flexibility, more specifically uh, with the spells. Often you'll see this attack with two heals and two rage. Uh, we got Bradley, aka Stitches. What he's going to be doing on this one is he's going to have two heals and... Uh, or he's going to have three heals, one rage. You can often see this attack with uh, two heal, two rage. Um, it all just depends how much you really want to get from that queen charge. Obviously, the two rage spells would be used on the queen charge portion. I uh, went ahead and sent in king over there at three o'clock. Just to help throw that trash to make sure that, that queen would go inside this compartment where he wants to take out enemy queen like he just did. Gets the wall break. He obviously wants to take out the enemy CC. If not, your hogs will be completely wrecked. And of course, break the defensive ring when he takes out some of these Teslas. He will be starting his hogs over here on the bottom left-hand side of the map, going clockwise around the base. So there goes the rage spell. Uh, you can clearly see he's going to be able to take out the enemy CC. 
Um, and there she goes into the wall break. Notice he also starts, once he saw that CC went down, once he knew that the enemy queen was down, starts his hogs nice and early, uh, starting actually with the uh, max hogs coming out of the CC. Now, right here, queen on king action. Enemy king ends up taking her out. Like I said, if you if if he did bring a second rage, he could have raged her up and took it out the enemy BK, but wanted to get more value uh with the hogs rather than the queen charge figured you know he was able to take out the enemy cc the enemy queen break that ring just want to invest one rage on her and if you guys didn't notice i'll go ahead and point it out for you ends up swagging a heal spell on this one uh it still has a couple archers a couple uh minions some wizards that he's going to help clean up this base and look ends up uh he, the healers end up peeling off of the queen onto the hogs end up complete so really i guess he could have brought that second rage end up completely wrecking that base huge shout out to uh bradley boy i believe that is stitches or stitch or something like that at any rate we're gonna go ahead and jump up so those are the two town nine attacks i wanted to show you uh now we'll go ahead and jump up to number 21 again we'll check out uh two 10 v10s a town hall 11 attack and then we're going to show you guys the 11 v 11 three star uh so this one coming from arrow uh starting his queen over here at nine o'clock and what he's basically doing on this one uh he's gonna be doing a queen walk leading into a cb hobo uh so kind of getting the best of both worlds the the tahoe nine attack the first tahoe nine attack we looked at a kill squad the second one we looked at a queen walk slash uh, queen charge this one gonna be like I said combining best of both worlds here uh, again starting his queen over here at nine o'clock goes ahead and drops on that rage was taking quite a bit of damage from the cannon the archer tower and that expo goes ahead and rages her up so she can get right through this she's gonna be going around right here once this elixir pump uh, once this elixir pump goes down not even sure what happened i thought she was gonna go to the wizard tower ended up traveling 25 tiles over to take out the tesla ends up working out very very nicely though for the spells though we did have three rage uh one jump and one heal spell so big investment on the queen walk and uh the kill squad here we go Gollum down here at six o'clock tanking the cannon and the expo uh and he will be dropping that jump spell right behind that cannon there goes the king and pretty much everything's just going to kind of converge together i also had a valkyrie inside of this uh kill squad as well so you got the queen meeting up uh you have the Gollum tanking you got the king in there uh, i think what was it we had eight if uh maybe nine bowlers going into the core of this base and he does have one heal spell uh, that who that he will be using on the hog portion. So right here, healer still healing up that queen. Inferno Tower goes down right as it was locking onto her, uh, getting decent value from the bowler skips. And look at this queen inside of this core, starting hogs over here at about uh, four o'clock. There goes the first heal spell, and you can see right here, queen is actually going to end up taking out that bomb tower before the hogs get to her and you can see he does have uh his wizards uh starting that cleanup nice and early um and look at queen took out the bomb tower she's even going to take out the expo still has ability tons and tons uh of hogs left up beautiful beautiful attack coming from arrow so i'll go ahead and check out another 10 and like i said guys we had 7 10 v 10s was a very very close war uh jf getting the victory just by one star very very close war um at any rate we'll go ahead and check out this attack coming from trey smith we're gonna look at a kill squad attack uh kill squad hog attack like i said focusing on a ground in this war um or in this video uh almost a similar entry like we saw on the town nine attack starting down here at six o'clock uh you can see he is going to try to wall break uh as that wizard tower is being distracted by the golem there goes the wall break gets it done jump spell going to lead everything into the core uh where he does have uh bowlers bowler uh max bowlers coming out of cc um we do it seems we do see more often than not we see the max hogs coming out of the cc but the but having five max bowlers i mean you get so much value uh with the extra hp and with the extra dps coming from those bowlers uh definitely uh was a good choice on this attack and look at everything inside the core and also notice that uh, trey goes ahead 
and starts the hogs while the kill squad is still working. Look, he still has the bowlers up, still has the queen up, still has her ability as the hogs are just running and ripping through uh, this base. And he did bring a jump rage for the kill squad, leaving him three heal spells uh, for the hog portion. And look at this. Uh, you can pretty much guess where that last heal is going to go. Only has a few more defenses. Actually, a couple more defenses left. Uh, that being the wizard tower. And the Tess will go ahead and times this one out. Uh, big shout out uh, to Trey. Getting it done. Getting that three star. Showing us how to do it with hogs. Dude loves hogs and for good reason. He's doing very, very well with them. Okay, now we'll go ahead and jump up to this one. I will be hiding. Uh, no, no, which? No, no, we saw that one. Uh, this attack right here from, yes, the 11 v 11. Okay, so we saw the hogs. Now we got to go ahead and show you guys our one and only, the one and only 11 v 11 three star from both sides um, from JF and FYSB. This one coming from Tommy Cran. Uh, going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo. And just ends up complete. Look, this is pretty much a sub two minute raid. Uh, you can see King is distracting both those uh, archer towers, trying to get that wall break. There it goes. Uh, Max wall breakers doing work. Uh, basically, what he wants to do with this queen here is take out a couple of these air targeting defenses, uh, help kind of break that ring a little bit before he goes ahead and starts the Lalo. <laughs> and you see that baby dragon helped out with that wizard tower. And there we go. Uh, Pop queen ability ends up taking out enemy queen just in time had to get that taken care of as you guys look down at the spell composition he uh tommy did not bring uh any skeleton spells uh so got that the queen of queen action his queen ended up taking her out uh under ability starting his lala over here at nine o'clock though dropping down a couple hounds and look at this a damage cc but he did bring two poisons to go ahead and take it out and that is going to take out the enemy CC rage right there in the core. Loons pretty much one shotting those two expos, also dropping down uh, loons to keep everything inside the core as he goes ahead and targets these defenses down there at six o'clock. Still has one more rage spell and one more haste spell left to deploy for this Lalo. There it goes, covering uh, the Inferno Tower, the Air Defense, the Wizard Tower, and the Tesla. Look at how many loons he still has up. Look at this little ra this little balloon that could end up uh, under rage. That one balloon ended up taking out uh, that Air Defense. And he had that, saved that last haste spell for just the last couple defenses. Uh, and like I said, this was the one and only 11 v 11 three star in this war. So huge, huge shout out to Tommy Kren getting it done hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though uh gg to jay off for getting the victory uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the hog attacks like i said we've been showing quite a bit of air base style attacks so i want to get uh some solid hog attacks out to you guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave uh the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new here any comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below this is rigs from Riggs Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.